Georgia is embarrassed and ashamed of this Fulton County DA that's abusing her office um, to go after and arrest uh, the president, the former president of the United States, which is Joe Biden's top political opponent. And I'll tell you right now, in the state of Georgia, I met with GEMA last week. This is a statistic that everyone needs to understand. In the state of Georgia, a child is sold for sex. A child is sold for sex over 7,200 times every single month. But here, this disgrace of an attorney, the Fulton County DA, Fonnie Willis, is abusing her power to go after and arrest Trump. She's not using her, her power of prosecution to go after child sex traffickers, go after gang members that are linked to the Mexican cartels. She's not doing this to go after murderers. We have the same murder rate as Chicago. This What's is an embarrassment. This, Why are you here? You're, You're talking Marjorie. about What's sex trafficking. What's your source? What's your source? GEMA. Who's GEMA? Georgia Emergency Management Agency. Have you had any communication? A agency. That is a Marjorie. I'm in constant communication with him. I support President Trump. I just came from the Republican debate in Milwaukee last night. Landed here this morning. The reason why I'm here is because this is my home state. I was born and raised in the state of Georgia, and I'm I'm here as a Georgian. I'm also here as a member of Congress. We're going to be standing up against the weaponized government. And we're launching an investigation into Fonnie Willis through the Judiciary Committee, and we go back into session. Well, cool. uh, my comment to Fonnie Willis is: We're going to make sure that she's she loses her job. What do you think she's done wrong? Sure. What did she do wrong? This is called weaponized government. What does she, that mean? The weaponized government is she's going at, she's using her office for politics. Okay, so she's going she, after so, Joe Biden's top political opponent. So you don't she's think Trump made any of these? Primary. No, these are fake charges. Why? He's being arrested because he uses freedom of speech. He's not allowed to say what he thinks and feels about his 2020 20, election. He didn't break the law. Joe Biden broke the law. Do you have any concerns? Do you have any concerns? Money. that any of the other 19 over 50 years using people yeah. just like you not like me. tens of millions yes like just you. like you no, like you me. probably voted for him that's no, your I president didn't. but i think it's shameful these people are having to pay for attorneys have to defend themselves they are having to to be the victim of the weaponized government happening here in georgia and, and our state legislature needs to do something about it as a former president has to be a running mate or have you had any conversations with him about that uh, the, the president will pick who he chooses for his running mate. Right now, I'm serving Georgia's 14th congressional district. The, the president's feeling outraged. He's the victim of the weaponized government. This should not be happening. You know, the Democrat Party should be able to run a, on their own policies, and their policies right now are what nearly $4 dollars a gallon gasoline. Have. Their policies right now, they've doubled food prices with inflation. Their policies right now are wide open borders where drugs, um, over 300 fentanyl deaths every single day in America. Uh, here in our state, over 250% increase in fentanyl deaths. That's Fonnie Willis, everybody. That's what she's doing. She's not prosecuting these crimes. Why should he even be in court? Why? Because he said my election was stolen. Is that a crime? Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton said the same thing. Guess what? Stacey Abrams said the same thing right here in Georgia when she ran for governor. And every single Democrat all came out and said the election Elections were stolen. The elections were stolen. Mrs. Did anyone Green, what see? What about Brad Raffensperger, though? Brad Raffensperger. He were straight up said that there was no Stacey issues Abrams? in our. Like our. I'll what tell is you, Brad Raffensperger? No, I'm sorry, we had to hire an attorney and do a FOIA request because my ex-husband was was told that his that he voted by absentee ballot. You guys look this up. This is in the news. He was told when he showed up to vote in 2020 that he voted by absentee ballot. And he said, no, I didn't. I didn't even request one. And then he had to sign an affidavit to surrender an absentee ballot that he never voted on. And we were accused and called liars for that until we hired an attorney and we had to FOIA the information. And guess what? It turns out it was all true, exactly what he said. So there was fraud in the election, and it's a serious issue. And so I don't care if you're Republican you or Democrat. You should do you care about your elections. Today? Have you spoken with Trump you today? Spoken with him. Do you expect Pre to see him? President Trump will be coming in for this shameful event, and then he'll be leaving. And I don't blame him. I'm sure he'll be ready to go. What? I thought Vivek did a good job. He actually stood up for America First policies, and he was the only one on the stage that, that made any sense. The rest of them sounded like uh, George Bush Republicans. So he's Vivek 24 or he be Vivek? Trump, I'm, Trump, Trump. I'm Trump 24. Trump 24 all the way. Speak to his supporters today. Please speak to his supporters. They're asking if their Trump is going to speak to supporters. Yes,